So we are actually not in Changi. So this is a simulation that you know anyone can actually come up with any Wi-Fi name they want to. I'm gonna go to our everyone's favorite search engine. So I believe now you are accessing to a news about Stanley Death. Wait, do you, okay, so you can see what I'm seeing on the phone? Yes, I do. Would you like to access to your cloud storage now? Cloud storage. Okay, I'm gonna open the script that my producer sent me. Can, can you see the script? So, is, is this the document? Oh my gosh! You can see what I open on my cloud storage. Yes, we don't just can see, we basically can access and actually save a copy of it. This is what uh, is demonstrated as a man in the middle attack. So with the app itself, the hacker could actually trigger a lot of stuff. Okay, I'm going to download this uh, file that is actually just sent across to us. I sent a file? Yeah, without you knowing. Uh, a normal consumer will just answer yes. Mm -hmm. So there are many occasions whereby a user would unknowingly install a profile or install an app into the mobile device. This is your voice, right? You were just saying this? Correct. Just so now. this is what we have just uh, conversed about 30 seconds earlier. So while you were, you were just holding you were your phone, <laughs> yeah, we can actually trigger a remote recording uh, without you knowing. So this could also extend to the camera and any other features of the mobile device. So basically, you have control over my phone? Correct. But how do I turn off my microphone? <laughs> turn off my camera? I might as well just turn off the whole phone and then that's uh, it, right? Yeah, the that best way the is not to use a mobile device. <laughs> this is really quite amazing but very scary also. Okay, what's the worst thing that can happen to me if I get hacked like that? With the information actually stolen here, uh, anyone could easily impersonate you or know who you are dealing with or maybe some information of your friends or your loved ones as well. 